everyone, this is Elisa from the Nice Toy Box Crochet, and I am totally getting spoiled. Yesterday, I got this beautiful table. It's a small table where I could, you know, put it over to the corner and then take it out whenever I need to, you know, make a video. From Linda, just a crochet sister. And today, she sent me this package. Okay, so uh, it says right here. Can you see that? Can't tell. Okay, it says, enjoy your gift from Linda, just a crochet sister. Um, yeah, she's so spoiling me. I wanted to open it in front of you guys. I really, really did. But I opened it a little bit to peek, and then I decided, no, 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 I'm going to open it in front of you guys. Uh, then my son came, and he saw it was open, and he saw it was out. He's like, what's this? and open it up so I know what's in here. It was like wrapped really nicely with tissue paper and everything. I wasn't able to recreate it. Uh, but anyways, I feel like I got two presents because this is a really nice bag for a project bag. All right, let me show you what I got. I got hugs. Take a look at that. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out how to work the lights. I got hooks. I haven't opened it. I haven't felt them. I haven't put them in my hands as of yet. I'm going to open it right now for the first time. And hopefully I'm not going to embarrass myself. Oh, good. It's easy to open. Oh, look at these hooks. Oh, I forgot to tell you the sizing. They go from one millimeter to two millimeter, which is really good for me. And one thing I noticed, even though I didn't open it yet, when I was looking into it, let me take out the two millimeter. Okay. When I was looking at it, one thing I did notice is that it doesn't seem to be made out of steel. And usually hooks, where am I? Okay, hooks this small are usually made out of steel. Um, and why is that good for me particularly? Let me put my, there, is that better? Why is that good for me particularly is that somehow my fingers react to steel in a way that it tarnishes the steel. It happened with uh, my clover hooks. It happened with my frills hooks and any other steel, um, you know, hooks that I've tried. And unfortunately, in the small hooks, most of it is steel. And I don't know for sure. This could be steel. But it doesn't feel like steel. I'm not an ex. I'm not an expert. Whoopsies. Let me take out. What do I have here? I think I have an H hook here. So this is my H hook. There is a bit of a color difference. I'm not sure. I don't think it's steel. It's got this nice gold tip. I'm not sure, but I. I think it might be good for me. But anyways, the the handle is plastic. Uh, does it have a brand or anything on this? If it does, it's covered by the sticker. Uh, the handle is a plastic handle. And let's see. It says Lux for the Die Hands or Indulge Your Hands. That's the brand. Um, anyways, the handle is a plastic handle and it looks really nice. Yeah, I've never actually tried a hook shaped like this before like I've seen them before but I've never tried them and so I thought I would try them out in front of you and let you know how I think it feels um yeah I hope it works out for me because seriously um I don't use my steel hooks I don't work with smaller yarns anymore even though I prefer them just because just because of the fact that this uh the hooks get tarnished and I feel like almost every project it's time for me to replace it. All right. So it glides pretty smoothly. I like it. This is a uh, ship shippies, shippy, shippies, uh, Katona. So it's a hundred percent cotton yarn and it's sports weight, which is why I took out the two millimeter because that's what I use. I do like the shape. I am a knife holder. And I do like the shape of this. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. It's pretty smooth. It's not giving me any problems. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I don't, I'll have to like crochet with it for a while. I'm doing a circle, uh, because as my little swatch, which I will undo because I'm not making anything right now with this, uh, because you know what? Let's be honest with these size hooks from one millimeter to two millimeter, I am going to be making amigurumi. And so what else should I start off with than making a little circle? Ah, I like it. It glides in really nicely. Um, ah, my stitches are tight. Like if I need a little bit of help, it's not because of the hook. It's just because my stitches are tight. Um, it fits well in the hand. Like I, Like I said, I'm a knife grip. And if you notice, this part kind of puts pressure against your palm and makes you feel like you're actually holding something uh which is kind of nice and then you know I'm holding it. it it feels nice um the only thing I think is that it is plastic and I feel like if they had a rubber uh bottom I don't know maybe I'm I don't know if they, I feel like you could crochet longer if it was a rubber bottom because I feel like uh, every time I've tried a plastic hook, I don't know, I haven't tried these ones yet particularly, but every time I have tried a plastic hook, after a while my hands kind of get a little raw just from crocheting. Uh, you know, I used to have soft touch, clover soft touches, and I felt that way with those. Um... So that's the only, my only concern at the moment. Other than that, I like the way it's um, crocheting. It does not split my yarn, which often I think if your yarn, my yarn splits, I usually blame it on the hook, not the yarn. Uh, although sometimes it might be the yarn, but I usually think it's the hook. This is not splitting my yarn at all. Uh, it's gliding through pretty nice and smooth. Um, I know it looks like I'm struggling to get in, but that's just normal for me. Um, that's why I'm a slow crocheter because I crochet that tight. Uh, it looks good. It looks good to me. I am looking forward to making something with this. I mean, I might even take out the smaller hooks, like the 1.5, and crack out my crochet thread. I have not made anything with number 10 thread in a while and the reason is because last time I made something my hook got tarnished and so I couldn't use it anymore when it gets tarnished it doesn't glide in and out of the stitches anymore you kind of really have to fight with it and it's not fun to fight with your hook it really isn't I might take this out I might take out the 1.5 millimeter and take out some crochet thread and make a little doll or something out of it oops that wasn't the hook's fault. That was me for not paying attention. I like it. I like it. Um, I feel I find myself kind of holding on right here. Do you see that? Yeah. Uh, I find myself kind of holding on right here as I'm crocheting. This is like against my palm, the curve, and it kind of feels really nice to hold on to. It really does. Um, I'm looking forward to actually making a project out of it. The, like I said, the only thing that's giving me concern is the plastic handles. And just because my experience has been that the plastic handles do get a little, you know, it does make your hands a little raw after a while. When that's my only concern with this, I think it's going to be a great hook. It feels really nice in the hands and I'm, I look forward to using them. So this is my two millimeter hook. That's my little swatch. I know it's not big. I know it's not big. I'm a slow crocheter. Um, it it feels good. Whoops. Doesn't want to stay like that though. <laughs> it feels good. I don't have any DK yarn with me. Actually, you know what? I do 2.25. So usually I would use a B hook with DK yarn and I have of course all my yarn is here I just they're just in bins everywhere but I just realized this one is right under me I could take this out so this is acrylic 
This is Paintbox DK in acrylic. I really like Paintbox DK. Um, in solid colors, pretty much the only DK colors I have, colors, uh, solid DK colors I have in DK. You know, when you say DK colors, you think of, you know, Premiere. But I'm not talking about Premiere. I mean, solid colors that I have in DK are all Paintbox DK. Um, a mixture of reasons, uh, I don't really find DK yarn in my Michaels, not that I have a Michaels anymore, but when I did, I didn't really find DK too much, so I was ordering it, and since I was already ordering, um, Paintbox Cotton DK, uh, for my Amigurumi, it just became easier to buy the yarn, the acrylic yarn that I was using in DK, um, from, from Lovecrafts, but you know what? I just really like this yarn. Like even the, I, I bought some Aran weight ones, uh, not too many because I always felt like, well, since I could buy Aran weight in the store, I don't have to buy it from, from, uh, online, which now has changed. Of course, now I'm going to be buying everything online. So I, I don't have too many Aran weights, but even the Aran weights, I like them. I find it really soft and squishy and I like the paint box a lot. Uh, and now that I've been experimenting with other DKs like Lion Brand, Mandala, I'm using that now for a blanket I'm making. Uh, I've used DK colors in the shawl. I have used cupcake yarn and I got to tell you, it stands up to all those brands. They, they, it feels just as good with those brands as, uh, as it does with, uh, you know, it stands up to them. Basically, it just feels just as nice and squishy in some cases, even a little bit more squishy. I found, uh, I made like half a shawl with DK, uh, paint box and half a shawl with cupcake yarn. And I kind of like the half with the DK uh, I mean, I like the whole shawl, but I liked how soft it was. Anyways, I'm not going to do a bigger swatch because I'm too slow a crochet. But there it is, worked up in acrylic. It felt good. I do like the way it feels in my hands. I feel that it's really nice in my hands. Like I said, the, and I, I like the fact that I'm pretty, pretty sure. Can you see that? <laughs> ah, I dropped you guys. Oh my goodness. I need to get used to this setup. Okay, can you see this? Yes, I think you can. <laughs> yeah, I need to get used to this setup. But anyways, um, this is it. It doesn't look like stainless steel. I am really, really, really hoping it's not stainless steel. Am I still on frame? I think you can't see it. I'm really, really, really hoping that this is not stainless steel. Uh, if it's stainless steel, thank you anyways, Linda, I love it. Uh, it feels really, really good. It feels really, really nice on my hands. I like the way it fits in my hands. I like the way it works up. I like the fact that when I'm crocheting, even though this is the first time I'm using these hooks, it doesn't snack. Um, I always give myself a little bit of I give hooks a little bit of leeway when I first start using them because I feel like sometimes it takes a little while to get used to the way they are. Sometimes it snags and sometimes it splits my yarn when I first start using a new type of hook. But this one didn't snag, it didn't split, it didn't do anything. Any any trouble I was having was just me because I crocheted it too tight and I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to stay under cat, in the cat. Whew, I can't talk today. I'm trying to stay in frame. And so the in frame, and I'm trying not to lean too much on the table because I don't want to shake you guys while I'm crocheting. Uh, all of those made it a little awkward, a little, not awkward, a little slower. And if you saw me struggle, it was just kind of like trying to get comfortable. It had nothing to do with the hook itself. Uh, like I said, the only problem that I can think of with this hook is that this is plastic and not rubber. 
and uh we'll see but because i do have like you know we'll see how it works out i am looking forward to taking out my crochet thread and trying out one of these i don't use one millimeter so i have used it don't get me wrong i have used it but i stick to 1.5 millimeters when i'm using number 10 crochet thread <laughs> i don't use a one millimeter uh maybe one day i'll be good enough to work that small but it's not today it's not uh anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i certainly enjoyed getting this gift thank you so much linda for spoiling me you totally are spoiling me thank you very 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 much i really appreciate it and i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of these um if you let and the table i'm pretty sure i'm going to get a lot of use out of that too and the project bag let's not forget the project bag thank you for all three of these gifts i know that this wasn't intended to be a gift it was just wrapping but it's a gift thank you so much i really 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 appreciate it i am i can't put in words how much this means to me i can't believe this i still wake up and i look at the table and i'm like, like this morning i looked at the table i'm like oh my gosh it wasn't a dream um thank you so much i can't wait to try this these hooks and i will very very soon and uh i think they're going to be really good for me thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you'd like to hear more from me please subscribe bye